My name is Greg Wilson. Thank you very much for coming today. I apologize for the weather. I know that some of you had to struggle through a downpour to get here. Um, we're here to talk about this. We're here to talk about how the web, in particular new web technologies, are changing the way scientists do what they do. And I think many of you know the background, but I'm going to take a minute on it anyway. Any thinking person can see that we've got a lot of challenges ahead, whether it is drug-resistant diseases or global climate change. We need two things, and we need lots of them. We need courage, and we need better science. Now, I can't help with the courage, but some of the things we're going to see here today can help with the better science. Uh, a decade ago, John Udell, who is one of our speakers, wrote a book called Practical Internet Groupware, and then wrote a white paper called Internet Groupware for Scientific Collaboration where he pointed out that the point of the web is not simply to put information out there that people can consume. It is to enable people to find what they want, to find the people that they want, to share, to collaborate. And there is no field that has a longer and deeper tradition of doing this than science. A scientist created the web to facilitate things that are only just now becoming normal practice. So, we're going to have three speakers at 40 minutes each. We will then take a break. There will be coffee and nibbles, another three speakers, and then wine and cheese. We are going to have to keep questions short and to the point because of the number of speakers we're trying to get through. But I hope you will take the time during the wine and cheese to circulate, argue, exchange email addresses, and do the whole physical networking thing that I hope never falls out of fashion. <laughs> 